Hello and welcome to EV Motoring, I'm Joe, and today we're here at the 2023 Chicago Auto Show to take a look at the all new Chevy Blazer EV. So this pictured here is the Chevy Blazer EV SS edition. This is the spicy one, but let me get into a little bit more details about all the trim levels. So there's going to be a 1LT, a 2LT, an, S, an RS and an SS. The 1LT and 2LT are available in front wheel drive or all wheel drive. The SS is only available in all wheel drive, but the RS is kind of the interesting one here. It's gonna be available in front wheel drive, all wheel drive, as well as rear wheel drive. So interesting how they're gonna offer that variant only in the RS. That's actually the one that interested me the most because that's the range one, that's the road tripper. So a couple range facts here. The base 1LT is 247 miles of range. The 2LT gets the bigger battery, so that ups it to 293 miles. The SS pictured here is 290 miles, but the rear wheel drive RS, 320 miles. So with this char charging profile and that range, it's gonna be a really good road tripping machine. One quick thing to point out about the Blazer is it's actually a midsize. Most EVs we see like the ID4, the um, Ionic 5, those are compact crossovers. This is a little bit longer, think more like a Ford Edge. So a little bit more leg room in the back, a little more family friendly. Uh, the zero to 60 time with this SS here is four seconds. It has a 102 kilowatt hour battery. Is That's the big battery that will be in this one pictured here as well as the RS and 2LT. That has a peak charging of 190 kilowatts, which results in 78 miles of range being added in just 10 minutes. So again, when you're charger hopping across the country, you're gonna have 10 to 15 minute stops and then bombing down the road to the next charger. So really good, really gonna be really interesting to see the charging curve that'll come out once uh, we can get these on the road and start testing them. Uh, 21 inch wheels here on this SS, so huge wheel and tire combo. Uh, that's gonna result in great amounts of grip. Obviously that's what hurts the range a little bit to end up at only 290 miles for this SS here, but still not, not bad, very usable. As we walk around the back, see more of that aggressive design language that they're using here with the SS and actually just the Blazer as a whole. It's interesting how Chevy decided to kind of redesign both the Equinox and Blazer to be their own unique body style for the EV variants. They're not just slapping a battery system into their um, old architecture. So this is a ground up EV design, which is gonna result in more efficiencies because the car is built to be an EV from day one. There's no extra you know, mounts or things put in there, extra weight for a motor that's never going to be there. But now let's hop around to the front. Quick look in the interior, and you see this might seem familiar. That's because this is the same infotainment that you find in the Silverado EV. So you have an 11 inch gauge cluster, but a 17 inch infotainment. And most importantly, it is that new Android automotive um, Google operating system, for lack of a better word. Similar, to, kind of similar to what I had in the Polestar, which is I've proven is excellent for road tripping because Google Maps just knows when you need to stop, where you need to stop for how long, and it figures out the route planning. You can see here it has a little bit of a Google Maps demo popping into the, uh, in the demo right now. So again, I think it's gonna be a great EV and it's really gonna be in a great segment because it's the only midsize, that, that, as long as, it's the only midsize that I'm familiar with electric vehicle. Charging happens here right in front of the driver's side door. It's a powered, uh, this one kind of opens out and down. The Lyric kind of does more of like a, a rotation uh, to open, but power door, hopefully that works in the ice and snow, but it looks good, that's for sure. And last but not least, pricing. It's going to start at about $45,000. It'll escalate quickly to $65,000 for this SS that you see here. But again, it's got a wide range of prices to fit whatever budget you're in. And if the 45,000 is still too much, then you're gonna to wanna to take a look at this Equinox EV over here that we're gonna run over to. So there's a Chevy EV for everyone. And if the Equinox EV is too much, then take a look at the Chevy Bolt starting at only $26,000. So with that, we're gonna wrap it up here. If you found this content helpful, please do like and subscribe and, uh, make, sure, and make sure to stay tuned for more content coming from the 2023 Chicago Auto Show here. And uh, take care until next time.